Hello there guys, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages, my name is Costa Child Donkster Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today we're going to be looking at Frontier City, and a very interesting rumour swirling about the community. Uh, we're going to be sharing with you the site in question, and also share with you my thoughts as to what I think could go around this site. Now before we get started with all this exciting news and content, make sure you like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,200 subscribers and also guys, we're getting closer and closer to 600,000 views in total. So the more videos we upload, the more you guys get in terms of content. So please guys, get over there, uh, follow the old video Videos, watch the old videos. It's very, very important we try and get to at least 4,000 subscribers and a million views by the end of this year. It's really, really important. It would mean the world to me. Uh, also, guys, make sure you go in the description down below where not only can you find the Screamscape article about this update, you can also find links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat, Google Forms where you can submit your video ideas, and also uh, the Discord server link where you, yes, you, the Coast Shell fan base, can get involved with the Chal Nation and interact with other Coast Chell fans. Stay tuned though, because hopefully in the future I want to release a website so we can launch some merchandise. And for now guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on uh, at Frontier City with the rumouring of a clearing of a maintenance site next to an attraction. So like I said, the information of the article is from Screamscape, so shout out to them. And according to a Facebook post, some land clearing is going on at Frontier City where the Thunder Road Raceway was. They say the land from the old maintenance bay over to the go-kart station area is all being cleared out, likely for some kind of new planned addition. One line of thought, according to Screamscape, is the park is maybe making room for some kind of attraction being removed and transferred from another park in the Six Flags chain. And they're appealing for people to know more about this. Now, obviously, on your screen right now is the maintenance bay area where, uh, right across to where the station is for this go-karts attraction, the Thunder Road Raceway. And if you take into account the maintenance area, plus the go-karts attraction itself... You're looking at a very interesting site here. You're looking at a very, very exciting possibility. Now, of course, we spoke in a previous video about the possible relocation not involved with the ride removal program, the 15 rounds of attractions being permanently removed from Six Flags Parks. Nothing to do with that, but the possible relocation of Goliath at Six Flags New England, the Vacoma Giant Inverted Boomerang, formerly known as Deja Vu at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Now, obviously, that ride has got a very, very rich history. And, you know, those of you who are new to the channel may not have uh, checked out that video that we spoke about with Goliath. Uh, for, so for those of you who need a bit of a reminder, it did operate as Deja Vu at Six Flags Magic Mountain from the 25th um, of August 2001 to the 16th of October 2011 and it moved to Six Flags New England on the 25th of May 2012 for the 2012 season and onwards Goliath came in now that what that was one of the big rumors for a relocation not involved with the the ride removal program the fact that Goliath was rumored to be relocated to another park we spoke about Frontier City or the Great Escape or somewhere like that maybe Frontier City is getting Goliath repainted and completely refreshed to look like a brand new ride. And you know what? I think I wouldn't really be against this move. And I think it would fit perfectly in the site because as you can see with the, the Google Maps image, which is already on your screen throughout all that report, um, you can already see on your screen how it would lay out. I mean, if you took Goliath, you could literally stretch it out across a strip of land and have the queue and the exit running opposite directions. So you'd have a long queue line and you'd have a, um, a short exit, well, not a short exit path, but sort of like an outstretched exit path. So there's a real possibility here to really extend the park and extend it around that area and sort of do like a nice pathway, uh, like a circular pathway around, well not circular, but sort of like a pathway around that area of the park and have Goliath sort of sitting in the middle of it uh, and have the, the queue line and the, and the exit path sort of going off different directions. So there's a real potential opportunity here to utilize Goliath at Six Flags New England at Frontier City Theme Park. And I think that overall it would be a wonderful way to highlight 
the knack and the need for improvement and further thrilling additions at Frontier City involved in the Six Flags chain. So there we are ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seekers of All Ages, that is looking at the possibility of a Frontier City thrill attraction for the 2022 season uh, on this th fun Thunder Road Raceway site. Now I wouldn't be against Goliath going to the park. I think that Goliath has been rumoured for a relocation, it's not confirmed yet but it has been rumoured for relocation a few months ago. We did a video on that and you saw in that video where I think this could go. We spoke about the Great Escape, we spoke about Frontier City and I think Frontier City is probably the most likely park to get this coaster if it was to be relocated and I think that would be one of my strong predictions very early on. Don't forget guys, in a couple of weeks we're going to be releasing the early 2022 Six Flags predictions, Cedar Fair predictions and Merlin Entertainment predictions. So stay tuned for those videos because we're going to be going through uh, those prediction videos in a couple of weeks so stay tuned for them. Uh, if you do want to share some Six Flags or Cedar Fair or Merlin Entertainment predictions then don't worry uh, we'll probably set that up on the community page at some point in the next week or two before we film the video so stay tuned for that um, but as it comes closer and closer towards releasing my early 2022 Six Flags predictions around end of February um, it sort of starts to get more interesting because you look at Magic Mountain they're getting the new Raptor that's not really a prediction but we know that's probably going to happen uh, Great Adventure will probably refurbish their kids area we know over Texas is delaying their Aquaman Power Wave attraction till next year um, obviously there's loads of rumours swelling about as to who could be the next part to get a coaster is Six Flags New England on the mark is over Georgia on the mark is Frontier City or the Great Escape on the mark to get the relocated Goliath at Six Flags New England. Is this going to be another relocated coaster like we had uh, when V Pair at La Ronde became V Pair from Green Lantern First Flight at Six Flags Magic Mountain? Of course, that was scheduled to open uh, last year. It's now set to open this year in 2021, along with Jersey Devil Coaster and all loads of other attractions around the Six Flags parks. So, are we going to get another relocated coaster for the next season, like it was with V Pair for the 2021 season originally? for the 2020 season so very interesting talks and very interesting questions still yet to be announced about this however i think i would be completely for the move to see goliath at frontier city i think it'd be wonderful because it means that six flags new england could maybe use the site for uh, a coaster it's stretching over a piece of land nearby or maybe it's for a, a sort of a, th a thrill ride package maybe a couple of thrill rides so maybe they they go back in for these tourbillon attractions like cyborg cyberspin or maybe they go with uh, a couple of thrill family ride package to fill the slot if they can't put a coaster in there um so it's very very interesting and i think that uh, we've got to keep our eyes peeled on this because I think this is something to watch over the f next few months. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update, looking at Frontier City and sharing what I think. In my opinion, I think it is going to be uh, relocating Goliath from Six Flags New England over to Frontier City for the 2022 season. Retheme it, repaint it, redo it. Um, theme it's like the Gunslinger or something Wild West theme. And, you know, I think this is going to be a great addition for Frontier City if this ends up becoming true. So, thank you very much, guys. My name is Coast Shell. Keep them on the coast of life. And I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a frontier-tastic day. Yeah!